Thanks, guys. Uh, really excited about the BJ's Roadshow. And uh, just a little about who we are. My name is Stan. This is Rich. We're both from All Star Sporting Goods. And uh, we're, we're probably best known for a lot of our baseball protective equipment, such as, as helmets that a lot of major league catchers wear. We also have um, uh, basically the, the majority of major league catchers wear our catchers a bit. And so that's sort of where our, our company has been rooted for, for many years. Um, and actually, maybe of interest uh, for, for some of the stores like down in Hialeah, uh, Tomas Salis, um, the Marlins wears our gear, uh, you know, helmet, chest protector, leg guards, and the mitt. And then uh, in the New York area, we got Gary Sanchez, who wears our helmet. In the, the Boston area, we got Sandy Leone, who wears all of our catcher's gear. And then down in Long Island, we've got Rene Rivera, uh, you know, the catcher for the Mets. So that's kind of where, where, what we're best known for, what we focus on day to day here at All Star. The way we got into this, the, the cryo scarf and the cryo helmet is so interesting because we, we always think about concussions. You know, we're always trying to think of how do we keep players safe on the field. And, and, and so we spent a lot of time researching that using different materials and different designs. But it, in the end, the concussion problem is much bigger than just baseball, uh, much bigger than just baseball catchers. And so when a doctor by the name of Dr. Frego approached us and told us and, and taught us a lot about research that's been evolving for the last 10 to 15 years about pulling the head and neck and how it can help the healing process for a concussion, it made total sense for us to, to go after this. Just as another product line that we can offer in addition to our great helmets and great face masks. So we started looking into this, and we made some proof of concepts, got onto some people to try out, and one of the, the early people to try it was a retired NFL player by the name of Kyle Turley. He spent about nine years in the NFL, and uh, after retiring from the NFL, he had a lot of chronic headaches. And one of the first things he told us was when he wore the cryo helmet, his headache, this almost near constant, basically went away after about 20 minutes. And he also got, uh, we have other guys in, from the NFL um, who, who tell us that they can sleep a lot better now when they cry home, but largely because we're reducing that migraine pain. So after we got into the market and started selling this, really with an angle towards really concussion relief and symptom relief, we started realizing that there are a lot of people buying the cry helmet for migraines, unrelated to any kind of traumatic brain injury, unrelated to any kind of head impact. These are people who grew up with, uh, with migraines since childhood or maybe in adult life they um, developed a, a migraine condition. And so at this point, it's really incredible just the feedback we get on a weekly basis from people telling us things like these long lasting cold packs for the head and neck are helping them manage their migraine pain. And that's really what we want to focus on with these road trips. And I'll turn over to Rich to talk a little bit about the product itself. Yeah, and another spot where the uh, you know concussion and migraine aspects overlap is you know the uh, the two of the us as part of this project have spent a lot of time attending medical conferences and you know meeting with doctors and learning more about all this. And the most uh, the most common symptom after a concussion is headache. So there is some overlap between the two, and you know, but as Stan said, you know, focusing on headache pain because migraine is one of the most um, common, you know, uh, diseases in the world. And I think it's uh, roughly 36 million people worldwide are said to suffer from migraines. Um, and with the amount of relief that we found people get from using this, um, you know, there's an opportunity there to reach a lot of people that can be helped by this. So uh, we have um, two products that are being featured in the Roadshow. We have the cryo helmet and we have the cryo scarf that we'll get to in a minute. Um, so cryo helmet, uh, which you've got, it really looks, you know, I tell people it looks like if you cut the hood off the sweatshirt um, and then line the entire thing on the inside with cold packs. Now, uh, when we designed this, there were a few key features that we were going after. First, we wanted it to be really long lasting, so it'd be practical for people and they get a lot of relief from it. So um, the cold packs that we use in here, uh, we've tested it. They last for about uh, 90 minutes at least. We've had people tell us they can wear this for uh, a couple hours and it'll still feel cold. Uh, we recommend that people wear it for at least 30 minutes, um, but really for you know any given person, it's you know for as long as they want. Um, there's no risk of frostbite. Because the cold packs here, and I'll talk about how I can take these out in a minute. Because the cold packs are lined with this fabric, you've got a liner between your skin and the cold, so you know, there's no risk of frostbite. We haven't been able to find uh, any reason through any medical research, even with Dr. Farrego, uh, that you couldn't just leave it on for as long as you want. 
So that's kind of the recommendation we give people, you know, anywhere from 20, 30 minutes up until you don't want to wear it anymore. And, and quite often we hear that people fall asleep wearing it which is it's amazing, like over and over again, whether it's people who are recovering a concussion or people who have you know, chronic migraine pain, oftentimes you know, when we ask, hey, well, how long do you wear it for? They said, oh, well, I wore it for about 20 minutes, and then next thing you know, I woke up three hours later. And so it's, it's, yep. it's very common to leave it on. Yep. Uh, so, you know, as I said, the cold packs are very long lasting, you know, a lot of relief from that. Uh, and like you just saw, you know, I pulled this right out. We also wanted to make this modular. So there's a series of you know, sort of strips of cold packs positioned inside the hood and in the neck part here. Um, we wanted people to be able to move them around. Um, you know, where we started with potential head injuries, uh, somebody maybe took an elbow to the head and that's, you know, how they suffer a concussion. They might have a giant bruise on their head, wanted to get some pressure away from that area. So you could just take one of these out. What we found from uh, people with migraines is everyone's migraine condition is a little bit different. Some people have a lot of pain in their neck. Some people, it you know, really is focused on their forehead. Other people want it everywhere. Well, you know, being able to move the cold packs around to where you want them, or maybe where you don't want them, um, you know, is a big feature of this. Uh, this version that uh, is available has uh, an adjustment string also, so you can kind of pull it tight, like the, uh, you know, again, like the hood of a sweatshirt. Just pull on these strings. There's a little button on here to release it. That helps people, you know, fit it tight to their heads. So they get good contact, get a lot of cold. Uh, in the back here, there's a, uh, you know, a ponytail slot. You know, if there was a woman who, uh, with longer hair, that wanted to get up out of the way, can pull their hair through the back, get some of it off their neck, and that helps out. Um, now we do have multiple sizes of the cryo helmet that we make. Being offered in club uh, for this event is the adult regular size in this black color. Uh, if somebody was interested in either the youth or the extra large size, they could visit our website. Um, but we're really focusing on this, you know, kind of adult regular size, which is designed to fit most average people. Um, and we find that the vast majority of people will wear this size, although we do have other ones available, uh, you know, if somebody wanted to check that out. Um, other things about this, we want to make it portable, um, you know, a lot of people who suffer from, you know, especially chronic migraines, they know that long car rides or just a long day or being overtired or, you know, something in their diet can trigger at any point. So it comes with this cooler bag. Uh, cooler bag has an extra ice pack in it to help stay frozen. Just put the whole thing, so you store the entire thing in the freezer. Just put the whole hood in the ice pack and uh, with the ice packs in the freezer. It takes a few hours to freeze up solid. We just recommend to most people that they store it in there for whenever they need it. If you want to take it with you, just put it into the cooler bag, zip it up, and then you can just take this with you. Um, we know a lot of people who have traveled on airplanes with these, uh, no problem at all. I've taken it myself on uh, road trips to see various people. Um, you know, TSA will sometimes check it out just for a second, but no problems at all getting it through airport security. So very, very portable and practical. Just take it with you. So, check out the washability. Uh, yes. Yeah. Actually. So the uh, the other thing, the entire thing is washable. We do recommend hand washing it. Um, then just leave it lay flat to dry. Um, but you know, just from a lot of use, if it gets a little bit dirty, or if people in a family want to share it, perhaps, um, you know, all the sleeves. The hood, everything is all washable, so uh, you know, just hand wash, light soap, uh, lay it flat to dry, and you'll be all set. So, with that, anything to add on that, Sam? No, I think that you covered everything. All right, great. Yeah, so then we have the cryo scarf also, uh, right here in the package. One thing I want to highlight uh, for the cryo scarf is in the clubs for this event, there are two sizes available. There is what we call the regular size, which is kind of the adult size, and we have a small size also. Uh, roughly speaking, the small size uh, was designed for you know children and anyone who has a smaller neck, like maybe around 16 inches or so, um, if they find the larger one to be too big. But there are both sizes available, so you want to keep an eye on that. So the cryo scarf um, came from when we started to find out more about all the relief that people got from using ice for their migraines. Um, we came across a study that was done, I think it was the University of Hawaii at the yes. time, yeah. 
Um, gentleman who's now up in Vermont, actually, very nice guy. We uh, met him at a show one time. Um, he did a study that showed that I think it was 77% of the people in the study group find, found relief from their migraine pain just by putting a frozen neck wrap on. Um, so this was uh, something, you know, it was an easy extension of what we're already doing, use the same materials, same long-lasting cold packs, um, same general idea, except for it's designed just to go around your neck. Now, what we found with this is that it's pretty versatile. So um, with the larger size, we've even had some people that just wrap around their forehead um, you know, again, different people have their migraine pain in different areas. It's either on your forehead, around your eyes. Some people will wrap this around their head like a head wrap and just use that. A lot of people like to put it around their necks um, to treat their migraine pain. But the other nice thing about this is, again, um, you know, it's a nice way just to cool down. So in some of the areas where this is being featured, especially down around Miami and really everywhere, you know, right now, um, just for general cooling, um, you know, I can speak for myself, my own family, we use this regularly, um, you know, a lot of sports in our family, a lot of exercise and everything, um, just a great way to cool down. So, um, migraine relief, general cool down, uh, general ice wrap, you know, pretty uh, versatile product yeah, that we have. It, it kind of an extension of that too is that there's a growing body of research that shows that cooling the neck gives you a performance boost, gives you basically more endurance as, as a game goes on, even if you're just cooling down for about 10 or 15 minutes. So uh, we mentioned performance on the outside of the packaging, so someone might ask about that. Uh, we've got a number of baseball players, uh, MMA fighters who are, who are using it and, and yep. basically say it helps them recover as well. Yep. So then same idea with the scarf, uh, store the entire thing in the freezer, whole thing is washable if you want to wash it. It does come with a carrying sleeve that's insulated. Uh, just slide it right in there, close this up. And then this can go with you wherever you want to go. You can throw it in your sports bag, throw it in your purse, you know, if you're going to work. Um, just, you know, take it with you with your lunch bag. Um, you know, pretty simple to carry around. So, uh, hopefully, is that, Stan, do you have any other points you no, want to make? I think you cover everything. Do you, any questions from you guys? No? No? All right, well, All right. we're glad to help you out if you have any. So. Hopefully this has been helpful, tell you how we got here, you know, maybe answer some of the common questions that we hear when we go to events. Um, and we're looking forward to a great roadshow. We appreciate all your help with this. Great, thanks so much.